Here we talk about uh, shifting functions vertically. So what we've got here is a graph of the function f of x, which is this black line, f of x. And if we shift it up uh, an amount, let's say we shift it up amount 3, all you do is for every value of x, you can work out a value of what f of x is, and then you just add 3 to it and that results in a graph that is shifted three units vertically. Now I know over here that it looks like the graph is actually closer, the graphs are closer here than that they are here, but if you measure them vertically, if you look at the length of this spacer as you drag it along, you can see that it's three units long there, if you put it over here, it's still three units long. So it looks closer over here, that's just an optical illusion, you can't bring your eye away from the distance from there straight across to there when what you're supposed to look at is from there straight upwards, a vertical distance. So the vertical distance of that graph to that graph is still 3 everywhere along. So if you look at the function values you can see that you go back to say this point over here I'm choosing it because it's a nice round number um, f, of e f of minus 1, this particular one, the value is 2 so you put a point at minus 1, 2, and if you add 3 to f of minus 1, you get f of minus 1 plus 3, you get the value of 5, which is up here, minus 1, 5. And if you look at the function definitions, you can see that f of x is x plus 3, which is multiplied by x minus 1, multiplied by x minus 4, all divided by 10. So if you put the value of minus 1 into this, you get minus 1 plus 3 is positive 2, minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2, minus 1 minus 4 is minus 5, if you multiply positive 2 by minus 2 you get negative 4, you multiply that by negative 5 you get positive 20, you divide it by 10, that's where the 2 comes from. Down here f of x plus 3 is just exactly the same f of x that you had up the top and you've just added 3 onto it. So you can calculate for any value you like you can see what the values are, and they're always separated by 3. You've got uh, minus 5.72 plus 3 is minus 2.72. And similarly for shifting a function down, here we're shifting it down 2, that means we subtract 2 from the original f of x to get this blue line which is f of x minus 2. And same thing, you've subtracted 2, so the original f of x was that, and the new f of x minus 2 is the same graph shifted down. You get the same optical illusion that you got before because where the graphs are steeper they look closer together, but if you keep an eye on the length of that blue arrow it's always 2 units long. 2 units there, 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 and in there somewhere. And this particular applet allows you to change the value, change the definition of f of x. So this f of x now is a different f of x than it was before, but if you shift it up, three units or two units, two and a half, two units, we shift it up two units, then it's still the same purpose. You take the original f of x that you've found the shape of, and then you just add two units to it, and you get the same shape shifted up two units or shifted down three and a half units. Let's make it four units because it fits on the graph nicely. So you can see that the blue line is always four vertical units below the black line and the red line is two units above the black line. Thank you for listening.